like I'm so over it like I know what you guys are gonna say you chose to do this surgery I know but this shit is annoying yeah my arms literally feel like they're cutting their circulation off I just want to get in the shower I smell like blood and this <laughs> arnica oil that they use for my massages <laughs> and it just stinks <laughs> Yeah. But how's your pain? This morning I woke up in so much pain and the massage therapist she told me that um like the longer the more you're gonna wake up in pain. Like the days won't be as bad, but like you wake up and so like you're so sore and literally I was so sore. And it's freaking cutting the circulation off of my legs. And I'm tired of having to zip myself to pee. Like, I just want to go to the freaking bathroom normally. You zip yourself up? Like, I literally have to freaking squat in the bathtub and pee. Like, this shit is so annoying. I'm so over it. You zip yourself up. Huh? I'm done. See who the favorite is. Uh, Chad. Why is my basket so big? That's all your candy, Chad. Um, that was wow. yours, with all the candy on the outside. Wow, you really went in with this Bridgington collection. Oh, this is so cute. I don't want to pick anything up, because I don't want to get through my arm. I always get you clothes, Chad, because... Oh my god, thank you. <gasps> I've been wanting to try these. So I'm hearing if I get like less much and I get a better Easter basket. Uh, that's not a better Easter basket. You both got this. I can't open it. The same amount of stuff. I just, she had glass so the, I got a different box. I can't open it. Oh, Chadwick, can you please open those for her? Open one of my opening. I'm actually like, uh, this is like the worst thing ever. I just, I, I can't do it anymore. I just need to shower. You'll feel better after your shower though. You're she comes at 11. <clears throat> Let's try it. Chad gets lots of clothes and then Danny got candles, but the only reason why her basket is bigger is because the candles. Because no, it's the same amount of stuff and before people start stuff on the internet again. Anyways, Chad is also 21 and barely ever here. He's always with his girlfriend. His girlfriend got a basket over there and this is Brandon's basket. That's not true. I'm here. Show them your Bridgerton candles. Oh my god, what are you doing? Anyways, Hell look yeah. at how cute this is. Hi. Look at this. You uh oh. So I don't want her to grab it, but. So look at that. I know, that's so cute. And then. I got you the other two candles and soaps and then there's a new blanket underneath there for you so today is Easter okay so I'm about to make my first shower and I wanted to show you guys a little bit of the bruising so this one is obviously very very swollen right here I mean, they're a little bit swollen still, but you can already see just like the major difference in my arms, which I'm so excited about. This one is leaking a little bit, but the bruising is no freaking joke. I don't know if you can see a little bit of it. Like here's one of my incisions right there. They're very, very tiny. Um, but yeah, I'm about to take my first shower. I'm super nervous, um, but I'm so excited to just feel clean. So. Let's get into the shower. Okay, so we're out of the shower. I'm just like sitting here to dry off, but my arms do look so good. I just, I can't even lie. Um, but when people say that lipo is like a mental thing, like it, it messes with your mental health, it definitely does. Because I can say that I'm already like four days in and you literally, like you just get so aggravated. Like you just want to go back to your normal like day and like, your normal shower like it literally was so sad being in the shower and not being able to like go in with my normal soaps or anything like that 
and now I literally feel like I just like ran like 20 miles like my body is so dead right now from just showering so it's definitely a lot. I don't know if you guys can see my bruising. I mean, my bruising on this arm is, is so bad. I don't know why this arm is worse than this one. I guess it just, I don't know. But I'm just going to get dressed, put my faha back on. My massage got canceled today. My massage therapist had an emergency, which I'm okay with because she wasn't even supposed to come today because it was Easter, but she ended up scheduling it for me. So it's not a big deal. So I'm gonna see you tomorrow. Um, but yeah, this is, it's definitely a lot to go through, but I will say just looking at my arms, they look so skinny. They look good. Your whole body looks good. They do. My stomach is very, very swollen right now, so it's Make kind of sure you guys ever do it, though. You have a very good person to help you with, because... Yes, this shit is need. not for the week, okay? I'm, I'm not even, like, I feel like I've been pretty good with, like, getting up and doing things, but, like, you know, this is hard. Yeah, you had to go change your fossil yesterday. You already had to go down a size or whatever. Yeah. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's good. But it definitely messes. Like this morning, I was literally like, I literally just want to freaking pee normally. So, yeah, but I'll see you guys in a little bit. Maybe when I get dressed. I just woke up to Easter yeah, dinner because I'm spending it in bed because I literally just woke up. That, that shower like really tired me out. Um, but yeah, I'm just eating now some little dinner. And Brennan just got back. I have all these baskets from him and his family to open. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna eat. Probably gonna go back to bed. That's all I do right now. Okay, so I'm about to get my massage. I just took my faha off before she got here so like I could just be out of it for a second. Um, this is how the bruising is looking on my back. It's not too bad. I'm trying to see if there's any other bruising. I do have this bruise right here, but that's from my faha the first day. It was a little too tight. Um, and there is some bruising on my like side boob. I don't know see right there a little bit um but yeah it's not too bad my stomach is so swollen today the last couple days it's been very swollen which i feel like is normal it's gonna be pretty swollen for the first two weeks um but yeah about to get to the massage so yay Okay, so obviously I'm out of my faha right now. I'm literally laying in my bed in this towel. Um, I'm really not, um, what's the word, like, leaking for my incisions anymore, like, at all. I do just have these on only because just in case my arm ones are the only ones that are still a little bit leaking. I'm not going to lie, laying like this is pretty painful without the faha on don't worry i literally only took it off because my massage therapist she's running a little behind um she's gonna get here in like 16 minutes and it would really just be pointless for me to put it back on and then take it off if you know you know it's a freaking lot but yeah i'm struggling with this faha you guys i know that i have to keep it on but this shit the faha is the worst part I, know, I literally would hate on everyone. I'd be like, why aren't they wearing their faha? Like, it's not that hard to freaking wear. I spoke too soon. Because that shit is hard to keep on. It is so hard to keep on. Me literally just laying here in my freaking towel is crazy. But honestly, I feel kind of a lot better today. I feel like I've been moving around so much more. You guys are resting on my leg. Sorry, I don't really want to hold you up with my arm too much. I've been moving a lot around today. I feel like I have a lot more energy today, so that's a good sign. TMI, but I did use the bathroom yesterday twice, which is a pretty good sign because today is my, what is it? My fourth or fifth, my fifth day post-op? Wait, let me go see real quick. Let me go look. Calendar. I can't even remember. Okay, so I got it done 
on the 28th. So one, two, three, four. Today is my fourth day post-op. So I went on my third day. So I feel like that's a pretty good sign. It's definitely like a very hard to go to the bathroom, um, but we're getting through it. Um, honestly, I think probably the worst pain today is probably my back. My back is very, very sore. Um, I think it's probably just from the way that I've been having to lay because I do have to sleep elevated until the 5th and then I can finally sleep on my back, which I'm so excited about because I am a back sleeper. I literally do not sleep elevated like ever. So having to sleep on this like elevated pillow has been freaking killing me. Um, but yeah, I think once my incisions close, I'm going to be much better. But overall today, I think I've been pretty good. So it's definitely like, it's weird. It like comes in waves. Like sometimes I'm really, really tired. I feel really weak. And then sometimes I'm like, oh, I just want to leave the house. Like I'm tired of being here. I'm only five four days post-op which is crazy I don't know why I keep thinking I'm like I've been doing this for like two weeks now you just gotta give it time it's definitely something that you have to have patience for um but yeah by the three week mark I mean you're pretty much like pretty good to be back to your normal life I mean still take it easy but the three week mark, I definitely think that I'm going to be pretty good. So I'm a pretty fast healer. Like that's one thing about me is like anytime I've ever gotten a piercing or a tattoo, like they're healed so fast. Like my girls were healed in like a month. Like I'm a fast healer. And I remember even when the massage lady came the first day, she had told me because she was like, oh my God, like your incisions are already like healing. She's like, you're healing really fast. So that's great I've always just my skin has always been really good with healing which I'm thankful for but it is good for the incisions to stay open because you want to get all the drainage out but I've had a lot of drainage um especially the first day like it was crazy that shit was so disgusting I'm not even lying to you guys that was so disgusting um but yeah today I can actually move my arms I'm not like trying to overly move them they are a little bit more swollen They've been a lot smaller the past couple days, but they're a little more swollen today, as well as my stomach. My stomach has definitely been a lot more swollen. I've actually been having, like, an appetite, which is really good, because I've been being able to eat. So, I'm happy about that. I ate breakfast this morning, um, which I just had, like, peanut butter toast and some fruit. And then... I have to eat three times a day because of my medicine. You're really not supposed to eat it without something in your system. And then I had a sandwich, which was so good. I literally have been just like craving a sandwich. And I ate it, and I didn't have any bad reaction to it. So it was fine. It was really good. Good. It was really good. But I've been eating at home like nonstop, so I really just wanted a sandwich. Like a good ham and cheese on a sandwich. I didn't get like really a lot on it or anything or like sauces because I didn't want to risk messing up my stomach or anything like that usually I would get like all these different sauces chipotle sauce all of it nope it was very plain but it was good so yeah that's how we're doing but anyways see you soon my massage kind of wears me out after for a little bit so i'm gonna say what i was gonna say before because i'm probably gonna forget it um but basically what i was saying is it's very exciting and i think that it's like such a great feeling and i'm happy that i get to share that with you guys but if you guys have something that you guys are insecure about don't feel bad for wanting to fix it because we're all human and we all have insecurities and yeah, it's your body and it's, you know, your life. And if you want to do something that's going to make you feel better about yourself, do it. Even though the freaking whole world likes to contradict everything, especially things that I do, what everyone does. It's your life. Do what you want to do. Because in the end, what makes you happy is all that matters. So yeah, let's go get our third massage, which I'm actually excited about because it's kind of relieving for me. A lot of people say it's painful it's it's really not it's actually very relieving and it's really relaxing and it makes me feel better afterwards so everyone's different though you know everyone has different experiences but my massage therapist is amazing she works with my um 
surgeon as well. So they really recommended her. But yeah, see you soon. All right, so I'm back. This is just like, I'm just feeling real talkative right now. So I know that every surgeon is different and I've been doing like a lot of research and looking at other surgeons too. Obviously I'm gonna take my surgeon's word because you know, this is her work. But my surgeon specifically told me that after three weeks is when I can stop wearing my faja as much and I don't have to wear it for so long. It's super important right now because I'm still so new and the compression is needed. But after the three weeks, and once I'm like, you know, pretty well healed, obviously not completely healed, um, I can stop wearing it as much and kind of just wear it throughout my active hours of the day. I don't have to sleep with it. I can if I want to. It's really up to me. But let me know. Because I'm so curious to see like other people's stories with their fajas. Like, is it really like is it really that necessary after you've already healed to wear it that often like i know everyone has their preferences but i feel like i'm gonna wear it but i don't know but maybe my arms definitely not but i know that your arms aren't as crazy like your faja doesn't really have to be worn much with your arms after you're healed thank the freaking lords because i'm okay with the stomach one like the stomach one doesn't bother me it's the arms the arms are miserable and what's crazy is like so before, when I had went to my first consultation with a whole nother company, I went to Miami because I was told that Miami had the best surgeons. I didn't find anyone I liked there. So I ended up doing it locally, which I'm so glad I did it locally because I feel like when you do it in like a smaller place where there's not as many choices to go to, they're just like so much more caring about their patients. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But um, when I had originally went, I had only went for my arms, obviously, which a lot of people keep telling me, they're like, you lied, you said it was only your arms, and now it's coming out that it's your body. No, it literally was just my arms. Like, in the beginning, that's all I wanted. I was there, and I was looking at a lot of the before and after photos, and that's when I was kind of, I asked about it. I was like, well, like, how does the stomach work? Because I do have, like, this little pouch, and I work out a lot. Like, I go to, first of all, cycle bar is where my workouts have been at because i love that place but i'm thinking about going to hot works instead because they have like the cycle and it's like hard to have a gym membership and a cycle bar one so i think i'm gonna go to hot works but besides the point i've been working out a lot especially recently because i was trying to get in shape before my wedding and i was like the my little pudge just nothing was happening so i asked her about it and she was like yeah like honestly like if you're gonna do the arms like do the lipo 360 because it's gonna frame you so nicely and everything is gonna look so nicely together and she was right because she was right but that's kind of how i got into it so the arms were really all i wanted but i'm glad i did everything because it all came together nicely but yeah the arms are a lot. i don't even know what i'm talking about right now i'm just like i'm just this is the first day i felt talkative so I'm just like talking a lot. I literally like went live today on TikTok. I was like, what, what is going on? And me just laying here in my towel is crazy. I used to be like so insecure. Like when I would get out of the shower and like, for example, like if I was like in front of Brandon, which is literally my fiance, but like I would like always like not want to be in front of him in a towel because I always thought my arms were freaking huge. And now I look at myself in a towel and I'm like, oh, I look so cute. Like, look at me go in the towel. So it's definitely like a confidence boost. And I used to not really like understand, which is this considered plastic surgery? Yes. Yes. Right. I don't know. I don't know what's considered plastic surgery and what's not. I mean, I'm guessing this is because you go to a plastic surgeon. But besides the point, I used to always be like, people don't need it. Like everyone's beautiful in their own skin. Which I completely agree. I think it's just definitely your preference. Um, I feel like if you want to do something to enhance your natural features, you're already beautiful. You don't need it. But if you want to get it, get it. And I feel like that's what's so important. And, you know, just, just let people do what they want with their bodies, you know? Because it definitely is so exciting to, like, see yourself and be like, oh my god, like, I didn't even know I could look like that. And I know people are going to say like, well, you would have been better if you worked out and got that. I did work out. Like I said, some things, they're just your body. It's really, really hard. 
I mean, when I had went to the gynecologist, which you guys are going to be like, what are you talking about? But it will come together. When I went to the gynecologist, like, I think it was three or four years. No, like maybe three years ago, two and a half, three years ago. And they had told me for the first time that I had had like PCOS. They told me they're like PCOS comes with a lot of weight gain and it can be really, really hard to, you know, lose the weight. So it is important that, you know, you stay active and you make sure that you're, you know, trying to have a healthy lifestyle and all that kind of stuff. If you guys have PCOS, you know, it's really, really hard to lose weight. And so I always felt like when I went to the gym, no matter what I did, I just never really saw crazy results. I don't know if that is something from PCOS. I don't know if that's something just from my body. I don't know. Mm, who's texting me? Oh, sorry. That's my girl. But, yeah, so I'm happy with my results. My massage therapist hair. We'll come back to this conversation after. But it's just, like, it's so nice to be able to see yourself and, like, be like, wow, like, it's crazy that I look like this. Like, you know, it's a very exciting feeling. But anyways, we'll come back and talk. A lot of drainage is still coming out, so that's a good sign. Like, it's just the bruises. Mm Okay, so I'm just sitting downstairs. I have my heating pad on on my stomach um, And I also have my little Gatorade in a glass right there as well as these music awards in the background um, But I took my shower. I ended up washing my hair again, and I have another massage at 10 a.m. Tomorrow, so I'm also going to be showering after that again um, but yeah, I'm doing pretty good, just tired. I moved around a lot today, so definitely gonna sleep good tonight. Um, but thanks for watching. Um, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the little, these couple days post-op. My next one will probably be my appointment, and, um, we'll see how I'm doing at the one-week mark. But love you guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!